back, we are going to see an another set of journal. This is episode 12 and we are going to discuss about the journals on civil engineering, architecture engineering. And uh, um, before we proceed, I would like to tell you that this is my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go and subscribe now. And you can find a lot of useful uh, playlists here. So the first playlist, which will be definitely useful for you, is what the SCI Scopus and Extra One UGC CAD Journal. The second one is all about the research. So here I have discussed about um, a letter to the editor, how to find the cloned journal and how to write your, uh, how to identify the research gap, how to start your research in a better way. So everything I have discussed here. So don't forget to watch this. If you have any queries related to your research, or if you want to, um, or if you want a, a resume review or mock interview or something, so you can just schedule a call with me. You can find the link in the description. So let us go to the first journal. Okay, Civil Engineering and Architecture. This is Scopus Indexed Journal. And you can see that it is showing from 2018 to present. So throughout this, I'll be talking very important aspects of, um, of finding the journal, uh, submitting your article, and what are the key terms and key points which you should keep in mind while trying to submit your journal. So the first important point which you keep in mind is what this. So here it should show like present. Okay, I am discussing this in the month of April 2024. If you're watching this video, uh, maybe after three months like uh, July 2024 or August 2024, please come and check the Scopus database again before you submit. This is very, very important. The second thing is what the subject area. Okay, these two things you have to check. And once you have checked this, just select this, right click, and then you can see the journal here. So it's a Horizon Research Publication. And this is your civil engineering and architecture. Nowadays, I couldn't see the journal link here in Scopus. Previously, they used to uh, add the journal link, but nowadays I couldn't see that. So you should be very careful to cross check the ISSN number. Okay, There are other local journals or there are other uh, not proper journals, which are also having the same journal name. Okay, So you have to cross check the ISSN and EISSN number. So you can see here, this is ISSN, that is 23321091. So this is 23321091. And uh, second one is 23321121. So yes, the ISSN, uh, public, uh, ISSN numbers are same. Then you can just go ahead with this. So here you have to check for the aim and scope. This is another important aspect while you try to submit. So if your article is under the scope of this journal then please proceed or else please go back and search for the another journal okay so here you can see the aim and scope this is what the aim and scope you can also see the indexing okay under what it is indexed so of course we know it is already indexed in scopus okay you can see other indexings as well okay it is not indexed in sci or ugc care uh, it indexed in Google and everything. It's fine. We need a Google index, uh, Scopus indexing. Then you just draw, draw, uh, can just scroll down and see the journal information. The journal information might be sometimes on the top. Sometimes it might be in the right, left side. So you have to be very careful to check that. Then you can click on the guidelines. So guidelines is an, another important one for the authors. Okay, so you can see this manuscript submission, what is you have to submit in the word or latex format. Okay, and if you scroll down, you can see the authors, you can sum, uh, download your template here. And how many pages or how many words it should be. Paper title, what is the paper title, how long it should be, author details, how your detail should be, and um, abstract, everything is given here. This is what the complete guidance to the editor, sorry, to the um, uh, authors, okay? And plagiarism policy, this is very important. You should, you should think, okay? And you can see here how many days they are taking. Manuscript review, initial screening, it will take seven working days, which means it's a fast publishing journal. Okay, and if you just scroll down, you can see that um, peer review, it takes three to four weeks. Yes, it should take. Okay, and next thing, revision after peer working day, peer review, it will take 15 working days. 
good so it's quite good to see this okay and the next one is plagiarism policy so if you go to the plagiarism policy you can check like how many uh, percentage they are uh, accepting sometimes they will not um, uh, they will not uh, specify like how many percentage sometimes they will specify so it will it they are telling what tool they are using they are using turnitin plagiarism detection avoid self plagiarism and do not uh, do not copy portions of one of your own co content so what how you can avoid plagiarism so completely they have given here okay and then acceptance letter after the revision process qualified manuscript will be accepted for the publication within seven working days and that letter should be sent within seven working days then regarding article processing fee we promise readers don't pay for the subscription fee to the only some of the um uh, some of the uh, costs like editing production peer review maintain so these article processing charge are only used to pub support okay so you have an article processing charge let us also see that so proofreading it will take three working days so everything they have clearly mentioned here okay so in that case they should be they have given the um, cost for the article processing charge you can click here to see article processing charge is 480 usd okay fine it's a 480 usd then you can just go ahead and click here in the uh, call for paper sometimes few journals will uh, have the special issues and information so you can click here to understand about the special issue guidance call for special issues and everything so when they are calling for the special issues you can find it here okay so all these things if everything goes well then you can submit your journal here then let us go to the next one next journal which is journal of architectural institute of korea so you have this uh, this is you have to again check for what you have to check for the um um Uh, scopus area of coverage and architecture uh, this is the publisher and ess and iss in engineering building and construction and everything so this is what journal of architectural institute of korea so you can cross check this 1226903 no here you can see this is not the correct iss number even you can this this is why that is why i have opened this particular journal so the same thing okay journal of architectural institute of korea journal of architectural institute of korea but they have given the extra one more wordings here so usually we will not cross check this you have to be very careful about it while you are cons you are considering for submitting your journal so this is the today's task you are to go and find the correct journal and uh, upload it in your upload your article so this is an another journal but please find the correct journal go and check for that and uh, if you have find the journal name so leave that a uh, link in the comment section if you can't find it just let me know i will talk about this in the next video thank you take care and bye bye